shepherds came to see the baby Stood by his mother's side Here lay the Savior inside a manger Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. Uh, I know you guys are so happy to be out of school, or students uh, anyway. Uh, I want to continue in Luke chapter 1, reading today uh, verse 59 and 60. And it says this, So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. His mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. But they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. So they made signs to his father what he should be called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, saying, His name is John. So they all marveled. Now, the point I want to make about this, if you remember last week, we talked about, uh, we read from earlier in, John, in Luke chapter 1, how that the angel Gabriel had spoken to Zacharias and told him, that he and his wife were going to have a child, and he told him at the time, his name will be John. So they were trusting God. They were being obedient. That seems to be our theme here lately, trusting God, obeying him. Uh, and it didn't make a lot of sense. When a lot of people, when that, when when Elizabeth said, no, his name is going to be John, all the relatives were like, wait a minute, that we don't have anyone in our that doesn't make any sense because no one in the family is named John. And in those days, normally you're named after the father or someone in the family. And we do this too. Uh, Samuel's middle name is Murray. And that is for uh, Beverly's family's name. Uh, their last name was Murray. And um, Be- Claire's middle name is Hendon. And that is comes from my dad's family's uh, name, the Hendons that live in Arley, Alabama. Uh, so it's not uncommon for that, you know, today and, even, and especially back then. But they were going to obey God, even if it didn't make any sense to them. They were going to do exactly what God asked them to do. I can't tell you how many times things happen in such a way that just don't seem to make sense. And listen, guys, there there, there may be things that happen in our lives we may never truly understand why exactly it happened. But listen. We don't have to understand. We just have to trust God and do what he asks us to do, whatever that may be. And the best way for us to know what those things are, as we say all the time, be in God's word, be in prayer, being under the hearing of the word of God means being here at church, hearing God's message. Uh, And so if we do those things, we'll have a much better chance, uh, opportunity to understand what the will of God is and then to follow that. Anyway, guys, hope this helps. Hope that you have a great day today. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.